We got birds going crazy. We got squirrels fighting. All kinds of shit going down in Dublin, Georgia this morning. Two. He's probably what, 11 inches? Maybe. Yeah, pretty though. Alright, it's 4 p.m. It's hot. I'm bored. I'm on my dad's bike. We are going to go see what we can get into. Alright, here's one right here. Let's see if we can grab it. Ah, I missed it. Dang it. Oh, wait, I can get it. He seems super slow and sluggish. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a crawdad crawfish, too. This is essentially a tadpole here that's uh, turning into uh, a fish. I mean, a, <laughs> uh, a frog, if you can see the legs on it. Um, I don't really know if I could grab one that doesn't have uh, the legs on it, but... That's kind of what they look like in the transition stage. There's all kind of shit biting my foot. <laughs> Crazy. So as a kid growing up in Georgia, um, I would venture out further and further from the house. Uh, kind of, I don't know, maybe every year, every summer. The power lines were always kind of this uh, totally strange environment. You never knew what was going to be there. And it was kind of the place that order... Older guys would hang out, you know, drink and go mud bogging or, or mudding as they call it now. Um, but this stream I found, which was running at the time, it's still running now, it's not very, it's not very uh, full. But it was the, kind of the first time we'd ever found anything that was running around here. Um, and, you know, obviously there's fish in it and stuff like that. And if you go back further in the woods here, there's actually a spring, a little small spring that runs out of the side of a, of a little hill. Um... But I remember as a kid thinking like that was the coolest shit ever because we never found a spring or running water and it's clear, you know, which is awesome. You know, if I had a net, I would be, I'd be going crazy trying to catch this fish as a kid. I mean, even now it'd be cool, but and I grew up around this area from age 12 to, I guess about 20, 21. Uh, and then I moved away for a job and different things, but it's cool, cool to come back. Uh, well, it's a big spider web. It's cool to come back and see, uh, you know, how things have changed, how they stayed the same. I've gotten, we had a John Deere Gator that had like the six wheel thing and the, and the tilt bed on the back. We got stuck in this ditch so many damn times, it's ridiculous. I'm going to go around this spider web here. It looks like a lot of work. Woo, shit, almost fell. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a, I think it's a hickory nut. But I was hoping I could find a crawfish. Holy shit, that's a <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> I'll let this uh let this water clear and keep an eye on him. Maybe I can get a good video. Holy shit, I don't have a clue what species that is. It doesn't look poisonous. Good thing I didn't step on him. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Uh it's really hot. Okay, there it is. I've actually never seen a snake just like hanging out underwater. I'm assuming based on his posture that it is alive. I don't know, do I want to poke it with a stick or do I want to leave it alone? I say let's poke it. Let's grab this stick here and then get out of the fucking water and then poke it see what happens. Oh yeah, he's alive. so cool and you know also makes me think twice about <laughs> walking in the creek but I've done it for years grew up doing it never had any issues so get back in it glad I saw that though before I stepped on it 
Would have scared the shit out of me, that's for sure. All right, one last thing before I go. Look at the leaves on this tree. This is the same tree. This one here, same tree. So tiny.